What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're continuing the Ichiban Kuji series Dragon Ball vs Omnibus Super with Prize C Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But before we get into the figure, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring that bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video I upload every week. Like the video if you enjoy it and of course, comment down below your thoughts behind the figure at the end so we can have a discussion on it. So this figure is probably the most slept on in the entire set. I mean, frankly, I wasn't even that excited for it. I, I have a great Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from the Greatest Saiyan set, which I'll leave a, a card above for you guys to check out that review. Um, and I, I'm wondering how much they might have reused from that figure. Of course, we'll find out when we start doing uh, comparisons later in the video. But uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, there's nothing about it that really screams. I need I have a great one already. I, there's nothing really different about this one that would force me to have it. it. Does give people a chance to get a great Master Lee's Gogeta figure um, if they didn't have a chance to get that Greatest Saiyan figure because prices for that. Ooh, ooh boy. Ooh, that looks painful. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, this one's pretty affordable. There's an Ichibancho version coming out for like 35 to 40 bucks or something. So you'd be able to pick this up pretty easily. But let's find out. Let's dive into the box. Uh, we'll talk about the figure, do some comparisons, and of course, give our final thoughts and a rating at the end out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. It's been a while since we've gotten a Master Lee's Gogeta figure in his Super Saiyan 4 form. So I guess it was inevitable to get something sooner or later. Regardless, I am more than happy to review any Master Lee's figure that comes my way. Gogeta is a fan favorite, and some people prefer this form to his Super Saiyan Blue form in Super. But will this figure be worth the purchase? Let's find out. Missed his uh, his support. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't forget that. Don't, don't do what I did. Don't forget this. This figure is based on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta during his fight with Omega Shenron in the Shadow Dragon Saga of Dragon Ball GT. His pose doesn't seem based on the anime, but the closest I could find is this Dokkan battle art of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. If I'm wrong, please let me know what the reference for this figure is in the comments section below. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Ben Presto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibanjo versions released in limited quantity, if at all. The prizes vary from art boards, towels, phone straps, or a plush, but the most sought after prizes are the figures, and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This set consists of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Omega Shenron, Super Trunks, Perfect Cell, Cell Jr., and Ultimate Shenron. This Kuji set was released in Japan on December 11th, 2021, and will release overseas sometime in February or March 2022. There are no variations of this figure. I paid about $70, but you can find the overseas figure for about $35 to $40. Link is in the description. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at about nine and a half inches, a great size for a figure.
This figure comes in two pieces. Surprisingly, Gogeta comes completely whole with his tail and sash unable to be removed and with his support for his foot. He can stand just fine without the support, but I always recommend leaving it on. So, I think this figure upon my initial reaction looked pretty good. There are some things that I had beef with though. His likeness is perfect. I think a lot of times when figures have their mouths open, it creates a derpy or bucktooth look for them. But they pulled it off here, so I'm happy with the results. The paint is where I have some slight complaints. I think his paint and shading all over is just about perfect. In fact, I think I prefer it to the greatest Saiyan's paint and shading job, especially around his vest. What I don't really like is the color of his hair. Instead of a red color with a hint of orange, it came out as a pale orange. I think this really takes away from the figure and I wish it was a deep red as it would have made it pop a little bit more. Size and scaling are great. He's just about the same size as the greatest Saiyan Gogeta who I thought was the perfect size for a figure. He goes great along with the rest of the set and with any other Master Lease figure within a collection. Finally, I do really like the sculpt. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. Good hair sculpt, great muscular detail, and his pants and fur have the details you look for in a high quality sculpt. Overall, while this figure may be the least exciting of the bunch, he still is a great purchase. If you couldn't get the greatest Saiyan Gogeta, then this is a wonderful alternative. I wish his hair was a little more of a deep red, but it's still solid nonetheless. I'm giving this one 6 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully uh, this, uh, <laughs> I didn't rag too hard on this figure, it's not bad. <laughs> 6 out of 7 is not bad. I would say anything that's 5 or above is like worth the, the price, the full price <laughs> uh, of retail. Um, uh, 6 or 7 out of, out of 7 Dragon Balls is like, yeah, I, I would maybe even pay above retail for those ratings depending on, on how much. So uh, hopefully that, that didn't come off as this figure being bad. Uh, I, I, I did like this figure. I, I didn't really have a need for another Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for my shelves as I already have the Greatest Saiyan one and, and I still prefer that uh, for my GT shelf. But maybe I'll find a home for this. If not, I'll probably just resell it or something. Uh, still thinking on that, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, but either way, uh, appreciate the support, guys. Uh, we are still on our way to 5,000 uh, subscribers this year. So just remember to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't. Share this with some friends or your groups, so that way we, uh, we can continue to grow. Uh, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. Later.